Hey everybody, this is Jason Ritchie, and I'm back here with a very cool and special lesson on a scale I've been working on pretty heavy the last couple of years. It's called the Harmonic Minor Scale. So, um, it's a scale that I've heard used in blues by uh, T-Bone Walker and uh, some other kind of jazzy blues guys. Usually just like a lick or two, <clears throat> something like <laughs> on a minor blues. I know T-Bone uses it on his song, uh, what's it called? Maybe it's called In the Dark or something. Sometimes I sing the blues when I know I should be praying. I can't remember the name of it, but he uses that lick, which is part of the harmonic minor scale. So what is it? So, first of all, we're going to be learning it in third position today because it's a great position for this scale. You can certainly do it in fourth and fifth and or cross. You know, you can do it in first if you wanted to. You can do it in any position, but it lays out pretty decent in third. As a blues player, I'm already familiar with third. There's not too many drawbacks to playing it in third. We'll go over some of the reasons why it's a drag and other reasons why it's so cool. <clears throat> so it's just up to you to figure out what it is you want to do. Um, just real quick, a lot of the reasons, a lot of times when I'm using a scale, I'm not using it for the whole song. I'll use it for a section of the song and then return to it. Or it'll be the main scale I use and then I may deviate and start playing a little blues and then go back to it. But you're probably getting bored listening to me pontificate about the scale. So like, what is the scale? <clears throat> okay. So we're going to start on one draw. Go to two blow. Two draw double bend. Two draw. Three draw double bend. Three draw half step bend. Four draw bend. Four draw. So... <laughs> Okay, so that's basically all you got. In the second octave, you'd start on four draw, go to five blow, draw five, blow six, draw six, over blow six, over blow, I mean over draw nine, I mean seven. So, you got a couple little awkward overblow things going from six overblow to, to seven overdraw. Maybe it's kind of weird. <clears throat> so, you know, it's pretty. Here's what's hard about it. It's the hardest thing about it is not the overblows or the overdraws. Once you can do those, okay? I mean, right now, if you can't do those in the second octave, you, you know, you're going to be limited. You're not going to be able to play the scale purely. So that'll be a huge problem for you and will definitely be the hardest part. But if you can do the overblows and overdraws, by far the hardest part, listen to me, is going to be getting one blow, four blow, and seven blow out of the picture and, you know, ten blow respectively. Getting those... Getting that note out of your playing is going to be tremendously different or difficult if you're anything like me. Because, you know, primarily at my roots, at my core, I'm a blues player, regardless of what people say. That's the stuff I grew up listening to. <clears throat> Third position players like George Smith, William Clark, Piazza, Kim, all them guys. You know, I grew up... <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
you know, blowing on that four blow. What it gives you in third position is the flat seven. Okay, so the flat seven is a very important note to blues chords, to seventh chords. It's the namesake note that gives blues blues. It's blues in the chords. So, gosh, so it works, and it works even in the gypsy context. And by works, I mean, you know, it's harmonically appropriate. It doesn't do anything that the chord doesn't necessarily want to. That's the big problem with it. The problem is, is that you're going to play it and it's going to sound good. And then you're going to go, oh, well, why shouldn't I play it? So the great harmonica instructor, David Barrett, has a saying that I like a whole lot more than the less is more one, because that's an ambiguous statement that leaves a lot of things open and doesn't, it's, it's kind of trendy and doesn't really address you know, that when there's, when you say less is more, well, you're including more rhythm, you're including more space. I mean, obviously that's the implications, but what David Barrett says that I like better is accentuate everything, accentuate nothing. That is so true. And with this scale here, by playing, by allowing that seven in there, that four blow, that one blow, the seven blow, whatever hole you play that seven on or whatever position you play it on, you are taking away from the ethnicity of this scale. And when you when you allow in that You know, it doesn't not work. It just, you lose all of that mysterious kind of gypsy darkness that this scale gives you that is so the reason to be involved with it, right? You know what I mean? So it's like, you really don't want to dilute this sucker. Like, uh, and if that means you got to slow down your playing, like that's been the lesson to me is it's really, it's really taught me to like slow down because I value the melody of this scale so much that it's more important for me to stay involved in the, in this melody than it is for me to get involved in my chops, you know, which is always tempting you. So <clears throat> I had a hard time not hitting the seven because of all of my blues years. So I started doing these little exercises. And I have other videos on them where, you know, I would start on the uh, a note down, a scale tone down, and then go up, and then go scale tone down from that note, and then go up, then a scale tone down from that. So, you know, I'd start... <laughs> course up you know or I could go up in threes you know um, I could move up in intervals of three set up anyway <laughs> but when I started working on that kind of stuff I, I started to get a little more dexterity around around this note so um, let's listen to uh oh I wanted to show you by the way uh what I'm playing on today is a brand new harmonica from Blue Moon Harmonicas and it's using Suzuki Manji reed plates and guess what that's it these are prototype cover plates that are not even finished yet and by finished, I mean they don't have a finish on them. They're, they haven't been plated. They are aluminum, and we have made them from scratch, guys. And they're incredible. They're solid as a rock, and they're thick. And this thing is a joy to play. And, um, it, you know, it has a, a aluminum, polished aluminum comb. And, you know, this we're going to be making silver-plated and nickel plated we're already making silver plated and nickel plated we're going to be offering this stuff soon 
Anyway, it's really beautiful harp. <laughs> And these little flutters I'm doing add to the ethnicity too, like. Very Howard-ish. Ah, see the four blow? pretty so let's hear it in context so i'm gonna switch harps to another blue moon harmonica this is my favorite blue moon c harp i put some cats on it it's all brass okay except the covers are just a uh, gold powder coating okay and i'm gonna do an, an old tune by Django called blue drag in which i'll attempt to solo in this now when i'm soloing you're gonna hear me put in some extra notes but mostly it's gonna be the flat five Because I can still play within the harmonic minor scale and play blues by adding that note. So that's the six draw bend or the three draw double bend. So if you're going to deviate from the scale because you want some blues, I'd recommend using that rather than the four blow. <clears throat> Why? Because the four blow gives you the, the seven of one, but it gives you the root of four which is not as cool as the flat five, okay, uh, four, <laughs> okay. And then uh, the, uh, the, that, that gives you the, the, the three draw uh, triple bend or six draw gives you the, uh, the sharp one of four, which is a pretty dissonant note and kind of fun to work with in a gypsy context. Okay, so there's my reasonings. Maybe you'll disagree, but... I think they're, it's cooler than uh, the root of four. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, uh, yeah, I could have played that a little better, relaxed a little more, um, but uh, that was pretty good. Uh, it gives you an idea of, of what the scale does. So um, you, you'll notice uh, I, I did hit the seven blow once by accident um, in there, and I, I hit it on the on the four chord of the changes. Um, so you know, again, I got I got the root of uh, a four, but what was kind of cool was I was playing blues when I hit it, meaning like I was playing within the harmonic minor scale, but not completely. I was ignoring a lot of the notes, the half step notes and playing a lot of minor pentatonic and blues. So I kind of I kind of got a free pass on it just cuz I was lucky enough to be to be kind of playing that way, which is, you know, if you're going to deviate, okay? I've heard great players like Charlie Beatty, Duke Robillard approach this gypsy stuff and what they'll do is they'll stay within that scale and then they'll just stop and just play some blues over the music and then go back to it which is perfectly fair and um and, and also respectful of the scale and its melody because they're 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 shifting gears so to speak and saying listen that you know now i'm going to play this and but when they come back, it's it's a it's a decisive move, and you know, and not to pat myself on the back, I think it was more or less an accident. But that's kind of what happened to me there. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm lucky. Maybe it's from being around guys like that. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this lesson on the harmonic minor scale. It's a great scale. It's tons of fun, and it's very beautiful to play when you're by yourself or over a minor blues, or especially over gypsy music. Um, get back to me. Try it in different positions. Lots of guys love this in fourth and fifth. And, uh, you know, and do, do some. I've seen guys on YouTube doing tremendous jobs using the scale in fourth and fifth position. I'm sure they would argue with me it's a much better position than third to do this. You know, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I know what I play it in, and that's just because I'm so familiar with third from playing a lot of blues. But uh, it seems to work for me most of the time. Anyway, I hope you dig it and uh, have fun with it. Tell your friends and everyone's going to love this. It's not too hard and it's a lot of fun. Good night.